The best revenge is massive success. Frank Sinatra, my friends, 10 to 15 minutes each and every day to learn how to track price. That is all we care about is tracking price in an accurate way, day in, day out. How do we do that? We do that with our Heikinashi candlesticks. We do that with our knowledge of them and applying volume. And of course, our trend lines, we're trading off the weekly chart. We're not going for pennies. We're going for much, much more in our practice trades. Let's jump into this, by the way, Patreon members, your three wave trades and your charting cryptos, commodities, and currencies were uploaded last night. Those trainings, and of course, we'll be putting out our weekly vertical crossovers for you. It'll all be in the email. It'll also be published at our Patreon site. If you're not a Patreon supporter, you need to be. Let's jump into these charts. We see everything up for the day except gold. Gold is down. Let's jump into the S&P 500. Where are we today? Well, as we look at this latest S&P 500, we can see it is up a little bit, 0.58%. And of course, we almost hit yesterday. You can see on the two-day candle, that would have been what happened on Wednesday. You can see it on the half-day candle where we almost knocked it out. Uh, on a 1.83% gain, things popped back up today. We'll see which way they keep going. But of course, look at this big down candle. Already hit the average volume. And we've got one more day to go. Don't know that this is going to be popping back up. I don't see anything here that, you know, was a floor previously. Maybe if we go all, well, you know, even if we go all the way back to 22, we can see where things bottomed out around here, uh, but still that gets us, you know, at least through our first profit and loss band. So we'll continue to wait, watch, and see. Things are looking okay now, so we'll hang on, see which way things go. On Friday, you can see prices below, well below the weekly on both the two-day and the half-day. New two-day candle will start drawing tomorrow. Let's look at where we are on the NASDAQ 100. It was up more, 0.84%, going up into our negative, uh, up into our loss band a little bit. Again, still have a decent down candle on the weekly. Uh, and we're not up to the average volume yet, so we will keep an eye on things. Again, we had sort of a two candle down and then a spinning top, but... You know, we captured that 2.43% last time. We'll keep an eye, see which way this is going to end up going. But again, we still have the weight of that down move and decent volume even on the uh, two-day. So keep an eye on things. Let's move on from there. Go to 20-year bonds. Uh, they're up a little bit for the day, 0.31%. Of course, we've had a great week all this high volume with a decent down move. Uh, we can see also on the two-day chart, nice uh, three, six days of good solid down moves there. So still, you know, a good bit of negativity there in the bond market. What about gold? Gold was our one downer for the day. And of course, we are talking about pulling the trigger on a down move in gold, maybe purchasing in our practice trades some options, see how those go for us potentially uh, in a down move in gold. I wish I could tell you we had a good inverse fund. As I said yesterday, DGZ is the inverse fund in gold. The problem is it's so illiquid, not fun to deal with. So you need some options knowledge, which of course we teach three-part series, Options Made Simple, The Charting Wealth Way. If you become a Patreon member, that's the first thing you get in the first welcome aboard email. So consider that. But we see gold, you know, well below. Look at that big candle on the two-day, all that volume. And you can see multiple candles heading down in gold. Now, lastly, we'll go to Bitcoin. Popping up for the day, 3.25%. Nothing crazy for Bitcoin. We've seen it go up a whole lot more than that in a day, haven't we? We look at this two-day candle. It has turned into a green spinning top. One and a half days of up movement. We still haven't cleared where things topped out 
back on the 19th of September does appear to be moving that way. Of course, last week we had a green up candle. This has gone from a red down candle this week to what appears to be a green spinning top, almost a doji. I'd pretty much say it's a doji there. So again, showing us some indecision. We'll see which way the market is able to pull that. Again, so appreciate you being with us. We love to hear from you. If you have questions, problems, concerns, don't hesitate to reach out to us. And again, thanks, Patreon members, for all of your support. God bless, my friends. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.